Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more relationship stories. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. My boyfriend forgot his wallet and was proud to make me pay. Was he right for doing that and getting mad when I got mad? My boyfriend of two and a half years took me to eat breakfast on Mother's Day. After we finished eating, he realized he forgot his wallet. I wasn't upset and told him it's okay, I got it. He later suggested we go watch a movie but passed out in the car so we went home and I told him to sleep. He worked 13 hours the night before so I wasn't upset he was tired. I understand why he's so sleepy. During that time, I cleaned the house and watched some videos on my phone. Later at 7pm, I asked if we could go eat at my favourite spot and he said sure. He looked for his wallet which were in his shorts and got ready. We ordered the usual and when it was time to pay, he said he forgot his wallet. I was silent but surprised because I saw him grab his wallet while getting ready but okay. I paid and we walked back to the car. During our ride home, he was gloating about how it's been a great Mother's Day for him. A free breakfast and a good long nap and a free meal. How his cousins are going to laugh about it when he tells them he made me pay for everything today. I got upset. I felt like a joke to him. The next morning, he asked me what's wrong, that he put the money I spent yesterday in my purse. I took the money out and said to him that it's not the money that I'm mad about. It's how he made fun of me and how instead of apologizing, he made a joke out of it. He got mad at me for being mad at him. Which one of us two is actually wrong here and why? Like that's stupid that he made her think, right? So psychologically, she's already damaged, <laughs> okay? Because at that point, she's just like, oh, I just brought myself out on Mother's Day, All right? My partner didn't care about me. And then the next day, he's going to put the money back. Well, it was the experience she cared about, not the money, right? She wanted to feel like a princess, okay? <laughs> she wanted to feel respected. She wanted to feel cared about. Whew, you know? <sighs> Update, I broke up with him, so this isn't the first time he does something like this. This past Christmas, he told me what he wanted as a gift, which was around $500 and some other small items, which in total are around $600. And I also mentioned to him what I wanted, which was around the same price range. When Christmas came, I received nothing. Literally not a damn thing. I forgave him and we moved past it. Then my birthday came and my mum threw a birthday party and he never showed up. I also didn't receive a birthday present. When his birthday came, I got him a cake and a small gift. He's never been a thoughtful person or considered my feelings. We go out to eat and always take turns paying for meals. This Mother's Day weekend, paid for all the meals and fed him. When I told him that I was done with him, the first thing he said was, was it because you had to pay? I mentioned to him again that it's not because of that. It's because he made fun of me paying. He said that he's paid before too and I should stop acting stupid. I told him I don't have a problem paying. I have always helped him out and have never asked for the money back. When he got his car, I lent him 3k because he didn't have enough. So far, he's only paid me back 1k. Since we've been together, he's wrecked two motorcycles and two cars and two trucks. When he moved into a new apartment, I lent him over 2k and I haven't once asked him to pay me back. So it's not about the money. I told him that I'm just tired of him and always taking advantage of me. And then joke about it. I blocked him and I know I'll be fine without him. Good on you, girl. Wow. Being together with someone that is inconsiderate and... Yeah, they just don't think about you. They don't care about how you feel. That's crazy. They, I've never heard about someone not gifting their partner a Christmas present. Huh? That's crazy, isn't it? Also, no birthday present. Not coming to the birthday party of their own partner. That's crazy. <laughs> so basically, he's dating someone who could just lend him money? Is that what it is? I'm so confused because what the hell is this? What the hell is that? Yeah, that would be my last draw too. Seriously, if he doesn't buy me a Christmas present, right? And I forgive him. Doesn't buy me a birthday present. I forgive him. I lend him 5K, doesn't pay me back. I forgive him. But come on, come on. You're gonna be like, I made you pay, haha. -ha. <laughs> what the hell is that? Don't want to be dating a man child. And people, it's always a red flag when someone gets mad at you for being mad at them for something that they did wrong. Okay? This goes for everyone. If they make you sad and upset and you're crying, and then they're gonna be mad that you're crying. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good sign. My husband broke all of my Mother's Day gifts. How do I rebuild my life from here? What are these stories? Seriously? 
For context, my husband is OCD and just throws away items without telling me. We have had over a thousand conversations about this. I can't explain it, but it makes my brain feel disoriented or confused. My brain literally hurts, feeling like I remember I put it here and then asking him and being told he binned the item. I have even offered him on a minimum to even tell me if he does this. So I'm aware because obviously he can't help himself but to throw away my things. Get out. <laughs> Get out! Hello! Today, I found out he threw away bed linen and I raised it to him, straight to minimizing and saying it was stained and cheap. I asked him, how would you feel if I did this to your stuff? Continue to make me feel like I was making a problem that wasn't. I finally snapped and I took the ugly mood light lamps from Kmart and I was seriously going to bin it and he just continued. I threw one to the ground, definitely out of my character and I regret it, but I'm tired of just trying to talk to someone who refuses to acknowledge how hurtful their behavior is. He then went and smashed the whole house. All of my Mother's Day things were broken. The gifts from kids from school was all broken. He had organized a Mother's Day brunch for me and my friends without me knowing. I don't even know why as we were not exactly on talking terms. I told him I was not in a headspace to go. He then escalated screaming in my face and then threatened me with a shard of glass and I stood my ground and I told him to leave as it was not safe for him to be doing this in front of children. The house is mine so he had to leave. He has physically hurt me before and was separated for two years. We got back together as he wanted to be different. A lot has happened since then, more emotional abuse. However, this is a new level. He has said that I'm a narcissist and that he has nothing to lose and he plans to ruin my life and not help with the children. I work full time too. <sighs> that is sad. I know I'm in an abusive relationship. I just need some words of encouragement. What could my life look like in the next few years? I'm conscious of the impact of this relationship in my kids. I know in my head it's not my fault, but I feel like if I had just learned to keep my mouth shut, I could have had a nice day and not traumatize my children. I grew up around this and this has somehow become my life too. Your life would definitely be better when you leave him. That's for sure. You got this girl. I believe in you. I believe you can get out of this. Seriously. Oh. <sighs> If someone threatens you and tells you they want to make your life hell, what's the point with staying with them? If someone threatens to hurt you once, listen to it. Seriously. Because next time, you never know what's going to happen. I'm just so shocked that some of these people just stay with their partner even though their partner's like crazy. He literally smashed the whole house down. Like, how does someone look at that and be like, I can forgive you? Oh my God. Even if I have kids with a person, if he's acting like that, calling the cops, you know, like, I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to protect my kids. Because hell no, no way is he going to act like that in front of the kids. Hello? Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.